Okay then, so welcome to Packard Ideal Shutter Company. This is the most complicated uh, mess of a setup that I have done. Um, but sometimes a lot of you will realize that the way to make it work is the way to make it work. And if that's a complicated setup that's kind of you know, just throwing a bunch of stuff together and pulling stuff out of your bag and hooking this to that and the other and making it work. Sometimes that's what you got to do, and that's what I had to do. And if it works, it works, and the ultimate result is a good picture, then that's what's important. So, what we got here is a number six synchro shutter. This is the more advanced kind of shutter. This is still a three and a half, brand new shutter, just made it. Um, it's a number six, so it's got the open and close mode of, of bulb mode of a number five. And then it's got the pin, and I've already hooked it up. So you can do instantaneous. This one has metal blades because um, the synchro function changes some things internally, and we had to have metal to be stiff enough. Um, so it's got metal blades, so it's a little bit louder than a, than a plastic blade shutter. Um, but it still works the same. Everything's, everything works the same. But what it's got is it's got this synchro in it. So what it does is when the, when the blades are fully opened, there's a Honeywell micro switch in there that it will uh, uh, tr trigger the switch and close the circuit and, and tell the outside world that it's open so you can flash. Um, the way we provide it, we provide it with an 18 inch lead um, that comes to bare wires, or comes to just on, on, they're usually not stripped, I strip these. But it's set up that way so you can hook it to whatever kind of connector you need. Um, some people need a PC connector, Sometime, some need the old Edison style uh, regular house plug. Uh, some are wiring directly into other systems. It's, it's easier if we just give you the bare wires and let you hook it into what you want. Um, I'm working on an option to provide it with a PC jack. Um, because we have had people ask about that, but I don't have a good system and setup yet, but that's probably on the horizon somewhere. Anyways, this is our wires. Um, what I've got here for the rest of this stuff to show you the, the flash sync, I've got a newer, uh, an NW565EX. I actually have this for my Canon digital setup. Um, it's a TTL flash and all that fancy stuff. This is a, a Yongnuo YN something something something. Uh, wireless trigger, so I wanted to show you that it works with a wireless trigger. Um, this is a wireless trigger, this is a wireless transformer or transmitter and a receiver. So I've got it to telling uh, it's on channel C or group C or whatever. Um, it's set manually, I've got it set at a 128th power uh, so that it won't blind everyone, namely me. Um, but then I've got that running. It, it goes out to a jack that this is used as a, I mean, I've, what a mess. I've got a PC jack going to a wire that goes to a, like a 32nd inch jack that goes, there's a flash, goes to an adapter that goes into this Y adapter that I go back to a different jack that goes to these two alligator clips. And you know, it's like, okay, so I've got a cable to a adapter to a adapter to a different cable just so that I can get to these alligator clips and hook one on each end. And ta-da, there, we're all connected. And what I was gonna show you with all this, yeah, that was not something I planned to do, just shorted the wires out. Um, anyways, the, the plan is to show you that, and it flashed. Now, what you're probably wondering is, is that flashing at the right time? Is it flashing? when the shutter's open. Well, here's what we do. I'm gonna put this pointing up. I'm gonna slide it under the flash, under the shutter. Push this down through so it's... All right, you think it's gonna flash? Do you see it? You see it again? How about that time? And that time? And that time? And that time? See, it sinks. Beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? That means that you can use a Packard Ideal shutter with a state-of-the-art wireless transmitter, wireless receiver, electronic flash setup to use your Packard shutter 
and that barrel, beautiful brass barrel lens you have from, you know, 1760 or whenever it, it is, um, that, that you got out of an old uh, uh, camera obscura or something. Um, it have to be if it was that far back. But anyways, you know, if you got an, a lens from 1860 um, that's got that beautiful Petzval bokeh and focus and softness and everything, you can use it with state-of-the-art lighting and a Packard shutter and get some awesome images out of it. Anyhow, that's our setup. It's a bit of a cobble job, but it works and that's what's important. See you next time. Contact information's at the end of the video. Send me an email. Give me a call. Talk to me about your setup and we'll figure out how to make it work. And you can make awesome images too. Talk to you later. Bye.